a story on NASA.gov. Right, NASA announces 15th undersea exploration mission date and crew. An international crew of astronauts will venture into the Atlantic Ocean on October 17th. Hmm, October 17th. That's an important date. That's a date that is in the Elenin list of dates and that particular date is the date that Elenin will be closest to Earth as widely reported on the internet. So they're going to be venturing into the Atlantic Ocean on that date to test innovative solutions to engineering challenges during a crewed mission to an asteroid. Let me read that again. An international crew of astronauts will venture into the Atlantic Ocean on October 17 to test innovative solutions to engineering challenges during a crewed mission to an asteroid. NASA astronaut and former International Space Station crew members Shannon Walker will lead the 15th expedition of NASA Extreme Environment Mission Operation NEEMO, a 13-day undersea mission aboard the Aquarius Underwater Laboratory near Key Largo, Florida. Aquarius is owned by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and operated by the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. NEEMO 15 will be the first of the undersea missions to simulate a visit to an asteroid. In May, a team of aquanauts set the stage for the test by working through some of the concepts in an effort to improve efficiency. NEMO 15 will require complex choreography between the submarines and aquanauts living and working in their undersea home. Researching the challenges of exploring an, an asteroid surface in the undersea realm will be exciting for fans of exploration pioneers Cousteau and Armstrong alike. Nemo 15 will investigate three aspects of a mission to an asteroid how to anchor to the surface, how to move around, and how best to collect data. Unlike the moon or Mars, an asteroid would have little if any gravity to hold astronauts or vehicles, so an anchor will be necessary. NEMO 15 will evaluate different anchoring methods and how to connect the multiple anchors to form pathways. The aquanauts and engineers will evaluate different strategies for deploying instruments and moving along a surface without gravity. Okay, so the question is, why is this important? Why are they making these preparations if there's nothing for us here on Earth to worry about? To me, this raises a flag.